So in this week's update from IHME on COVID around the world and forecasts out till February 1st, uh, I think it's important to start with the recognition that at least according to the cell phone based mobility data that we use to track uh, every country in the world, we have now reached a critical threshold that mobility globally is back to the level before the COVID-19 pandemic began. And there are still places in the world like Southeast Asia that are a number of countries that are in lockdown. Uh, and there's uh, prospects that there may be other uh, lockdowns with some of the ongoing Delta surges, but it's still quite a watershed that we're back to a level of in interaction and mobility uh, that we haven't seen uh, throughout the pandemic. There are some differences. Uh, we still have 57% uh, of the world wearing a mask. Uh, that varies by country. So it's not as if that mobility is the same, that, that life is back to what it was, but it certainly is trending in the direction of people having more interaction. And that plays out in our forecasts. While the Delta wave globally is on the downswing and there are places like um, Eastern Europe and Central Europe, some states in the US, uh, Chile, um, you know, Baja California, a handful of other places, Australia, New Zealand, where transmission is still going up. They're still in the, in the first Delta wave. Uh, we do have to recognize that globally we're on the downswing uh, for Delta. That decline we expect, however, is going to slow and actually reverse globally in November. And that's because in the Northern hemisphere, of uh, winter seasonality. And that combined with uh, people being more mobile, less people wearing a mask, we should expect transmission to go back up. We won't see anything like what we saw last winter in the Northern hemisphere, but there'll still be a moderate increase and in surge. And then when you combined the, that fact with the fact that because mask use is down, we expect there to be a flu epidemic this winter and that in the Northern Hemisphere that we will see uh, really quite a lot of pressure on hospitals from the combined effect of COVID and flu. There are a number of factors that can really change the next uh, few months, uh, of course, and that is what if a new variant shows up? That's not included in our model. There's a lot of discussion right now about the AY 4.2 sublineage for Delta in the UK, but we may be able to explain this, the increasing case numbers in the United Kingdom, in Denmark, and in the Netherlands with the combination of seasonality and behavioral relaxation. So we're not yet sure that the, the new sublineage is going to have global uh, ramifications. Having said all that, uh, we should not uh, re we should recognize that the narrative that is out there that sort of COVID is over is definitely not true, and likely things may be worse than even what we're saying in our reference scenario because of waning immunity. Uh, we know vaccine derived immunity wanes. Uh, we know that it wanes for protect preventing against infection rather quickly in some cases but probably much more slowly for preventing uh, hospitalization and death. But nevertheless, that waning immunity means there may be much more transmission potential in the winter, just as um, some of the Northern hemisphere countries are in that period where we expect immunity to be down quite a bit. The other factors that will potentially have the offsetting effects are the advent of new therapies, like the antivirals that we've heard about that can reduce the infection fatality rate by up to 50%. If those are widely used, that could have an impact. And of course, if efforts to increase vaccination uh, are successful and continue, and we expand vaccination in those places with supplies into vaccinating children, that can also have a, a, a substantial effect. So that's the main insights from the modeling this week. Uh, we are at that sort of critical transition now in the next few weeks where we expect perhaps more countries to start reversing again and seeing um, winter uh, reversals show up. So uh, it'll be important to watch uh, carefully uh, what the, the transmission dynamics uh, around the world.